Do you dream of building a music business that drives itself and frees up time so you can focus on the music? As an operations guy, I tend to geek out about things like this, but do you? We're going to talk about that in today's episode. So like I said, you've probably been dreaming about a music business, a music career that runs itself. You you know, you have help people coming in and world that's virtual assistants or an artist manager or what have you is helping you with all the things you have to do. But did you know that there's a possibility that right now you're standing in your own way of achieving that dream? So as creatives, we tend to be a little perfectionist at times. I'll admit it, same boat as you. Uh, but you know, when it comes to our marketing work, we're like, that track could be better, you know, after 12 months of already refining it and not getting anywhere, but it's going to be better, right? That show poster doesn't speak to me yet, but the show's tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to keep working on it. Uh, the email doesn't have my brand colors, you know, oh no, the, but people know it's for me. Mm, yeah. And that album artwork probably needs a font adjustment. Who's going to know except for you? You know what I'm talking about. I, I've been there. I'm sure you've been there. You know, it, it's it's inevitable that we're going to get in our own way. But we need to accept progress, not perfection. If we're happy with the way it is now or, you know, mostly happy with it, capture how you do it. Document it. Screen screen capture it using some kind of something like uh, Camtasia or a Loom or something like that, where it allows you to uh, record what you're doing in real time. Transcripts, audio, video, these types of things will help, um, you know, memorialize or capture what you're doing. That way, you can share those files with somebody to help you. Like this is the way I like to do it. Can you start here? They now have a starting point to be able to replicate the quality that you're looking for. And then from there, let them do their own thing. Can they inject their own ideas, their own inspirations? Can they make your brand better without your involvement? Or at least with with your involvement, you guys can collaborate on things. And as they get better, they're going to learn you more over time. Listen, the biggest problem we can have is having too much control over our marketing. Because then you believe that no one else in the world can do it. And that is a huge mistake. That is the wrong mindset to have. You need to realize that everyone's going to have their own way of doing it, their own unique spin on it. Let them inject those ideas and make things better over time. And, you know, if you don't like it, voice the concern. But over time, you want them to be able to make something new and make sure that it represents you. If they ever move on, make sure that they're recording their version of it too so that that version two of those captured processes can go to person number three and follow the same process. So there is a way to make sure that your quality, your level of perfectionism can stay intact when other people are doing it. Not to say that you're completely passing it off, but, um, and you can still stay involved again, but make sure that you're giving it a chance because you never know what great idea someone else might have to contribute to your stuff. So if you learn to do this, where you share the processes and you give people a chance to help you, you will find that things fall start start to come off of your plate, that your hat gets to come off and go on someone else's head, and now you're at you know ten hats instead of thirty thousand. Um, so make sure that you're sharing, delegating, providing feedback loop with somebody who wants to help you, and let them help you. Take the hat off, and put on your musician musician hat again. It gives you time and freedom to go back to songwriting, to recording, to things that you love to do and why you started this this progress or this road in the first place. So I want to thank you for checking out today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.